This is a medium difficulty problem solving question. This GMAT problem solving question is from combinatorics, permutation combination. Numbers and digits is a concept tested in this question. Take a look at the question. How many odd four digit positive integers that are multiples of five can be formed without using the digit five, without using the digit three? Okay. The number should be to start with a four digit positive integer. It should be an odd four digit positive integer. It should be a multiple of five and it should not contain the digit three. Oh, wow. Lot of conditions to take into consideration. Let's take a look at it. We'll start with it. It's a four digit number one, two, three, four. Right. The number should be a multiple of five. The number is a multiple of five. Its unit digit will be zero or five. It should be an odd number. It's a multiple of five. It's an odd number, which means you're talking about it being an odd multiple of five. Any number that ends in zero is going to be an even multiple of five. So the unit digit can only be a five. So unit digit can only be a five. So it's got only one option. It has to be a multiple of five. So the unit digit has to be zero or five. It has to be an odd number. So the unit digit cannot be zero. It has to be a five. So unit digit has got only one possibility and that is five. How many possibilities does the tens place have? No constraints except that it should not contain the digit three. So zero to nine, 10 possibilities would have been there. If you remove this possibility of three being one of the digits, we've got numbers from zero to nine other than three. That leaves us with nine options for this place. Same will hold good for the hundreds place, nine options. The thousands place we need to watch out. It cannot be a zero. It cannot be a three. So in zero to nine, we have 10 digits. Two possibilities have been removed. So we're left with eight possibilities. So how many numbers totally exist? Eight possibilities for the thousands, nine for the hundreds, nine for the tens, and only one for the units place. So eight times nine times nine times one is what we have. This is eight times 81, and that is equal to 648. 648 four digit odd positive integers exist, which do not contain the digit three and are multiples of five. Choice D is the correct answer to this question. We have a bonus question for this. The bonus question reads as follows. How many four digit positive integers that are not multiples of five can be formed without using the digit three? Look at it. I've removed the odd from it. So how many four digit positive integers that are not multiples of five, they should not be multiples of five, that can be formed without using the digit three. So it should be a four digit positive integer, should not be a multiple of five, should not contain the digit three. So these are the answer options. Check out which one basically fits the bill. Solve this pretty much the same way as we did in the last question, except that let adhere to a new set of conditions and post your answers in the comment section of this video. Best wishes.